Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Kristen, also known as Lovely Kristen. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys all about what is next for me. And based on the title of this video, you already know, yes, I am going to be subbing. So I applied to sub. If you've been following along the past almost two months now, you know that I resigned from my teaching position. I was teaching kindergarten. I resigned at the very beginning of March, March 8th to be exact. And since then, I've just kind of been trying to decide what was next for me. What is the next step that I wanted to take? I went back and forth between online teaching, So teaching online or going back to a regular teaching position or doing subbing. And I ultimately decided to sub. And I can do a dedicated video on like the process of me subbing and how that kind of went. But I will say that what ultimately made me decide to go the subbing route is because I didn't want to rush into a teaching position. I'm very big on reflecting, taking time to learn from my previous experiences. And I do believe that everything that we go through in life is meant to teach us and meant to help us to better prepare and and learn from what we've been through and I don't take what I went through lightly and I definitely want to continue learning and growing and I feel like subbing is the best way for me to do that I am still going to be using my degree I'm still going to be doing what I love most importantly the only thing is it's not a permanent long-term teaching position. Now as a sub, obviously I can do long-term as a sub, but um, that's different from me being the actual teacher because um, long-term sub positions can vary in length and so it is different. I am open to doing some long-term subbing if it's the right fit, if it does come up and I feel like it's a great environment, it's the right fit, all those things. But that's not something I'm going to just rush into either. And like I said, this is just a way for me to still do what I love, a way for me to still use my degree that I worked very hard for. If you've been following along, you know that I was in school to get my master's and I got my master's in December of last year. And so I got my master's in elementary education. I worked very hard two years to get that degree. And I'm going to, I'm going to use my degree. I'm going to use my degree. I'm going to do what I love. And I'm just so glad that subbing is a possibility. And so, yeah, I, this is also a great way for me to gain more experience, for me to try out different grade levels, for me to try out different schools, different environments. And I'm just so excited to challenge myself in this way. If you guys have been following me since I started posting content, teaching content on this channel, you know, I started out as a one-on-one -on -one special education paraprofessional if you've been following me since then first of all comment down below but also let me know so comment down below and let me know but also you know from the very first video that I posted about being a one-on-one -on -one special education paraprofessional you know that I said in that video that I'm all about growing and challenging myself and that is still true today so this is just a new way that I'm going to challenge myself, a new way that I'm going to learn, grow as an educator, and I'm excited for the challenge. 
it's just a great way for me to just experience different grade levels. Who knows, maybe I'll one day end up in kindergarten again. Maybe I'll be in first grade, second grade. You never know. I'm even open to doing middle school, like subbing in middle school. Not too sure about high school. So you just never know. I am certified to teach middle school. And so you just never know where I'll end up. And so I just think that this is a great opportunity for me to figure that out, to just continue to learn myself, learn more about the profession and just, yeah, grow in different ways, try out different classroom management techniques, learn from other teachers, see, you know, how their classes are set up, see kind of like, how, they're, how they structure their days, things of that nature. And so I'm just, I'm just here to learn, grow all the things and yeah, just see where I end up. I think it'll be exciting. And I'm happy to take you guys along on this journey. So I hope that you're just as excited for this new journey as I am. And I hope that you'll stick around to see what happens on this crazy, crazy journey. It's been a while since I've filmed out here, like a couple years at this point. But I just wanted to come update you guys, let you know how my first day of subbing went. And y'all, it went really well. Originally, I picked up for a first grade teacher, but when I got there, the principal told me that the first grade teacher decided to come in. And she was like, but you're already here. She was really happy about me being early. She was like, you're here and you're early. And so that's one of my tips is when you're subbing, definitely arrive early so that you can kind of get to know the office staff, um, get your keys. They can show you how to like sign in and all that stuff. And then, um, you know, they can show you where you're gonna be, things of that nature. Just kind of learn the building a little bit before the kids come. You don't want to get there right when the kids are there and have to figure things out. But anyways, so um, yeah, she was happy that I was there early. And she told me, she was like, since you're here, we're gonna go ahead and um, find you somewhere to be for the day. And so I ended up, they ended up putting me in a third grade to help the third grade teacher out. You know, they're still doing their state testing. And so uh, that's where they put me. So I was with third grade for about 30 minutes or so and then the assistant principal came and got me and told me that they needed me in kindergarten and even though the teacher and the pair they were both there they needed me particularly to kind of help with this one student because it was the inclusion class and so they needed my help with this one student in particular and so that's what I did and I was I just thought it was funny how I picked up for first grade ended up going to third grade for a little bit and then ended up in kindergarten. It just brought back all the feels, all the like memories of being a kindergarten teacher. And it kind of made me sad, but then it also gave me some joy because I was just like, you know, I'm back in the classroom, I'm back working with students, what I love doing. And so I'm just so grateful that I am able to sub and just have something to look forward to for the rest of the school year. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you back here next time.